with the stand on the sheet pan, on the feet hands. It's only, only, it's only feet hands. Welcome back to another episode of Only Fiends with me, Karen Elizabeth Fian, and my new co-host, Peter James Fowler. I'm kidding. Hello, guys. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm joking. My guest today, Peter James Fowler. Oh, my God. Thank you for having me on, dude. Jared just really slit his wrists in real time. <laughs> I'm joking. Well, I've worked yeah. hard for this, though. I've been grinding, and now I've gotten the podcast. It's a big opportunity for is me. Is this your first podcast? This is my first ever anything. This is my first <laughs> wow. credit, dude. Is this your this first is big, yeah. Podcast? My mom's watching from the hospital right now. Hey, what's up, Cheryl? Cheryl. Thanks for tuning in. I made it. Sorry about the Parkinson's. Yeah. Um, she'll be fine, dude. She's, will she? She's a tough gal, dude. I don't know. Is that one of the she's, things you can cure? I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> but also, dude, she has a fat like um, life insurance policy. I so. was just going to say, if you've got money to throw at that, Michael J. Fox looks fine does he doesn't though he, he looks really bad actually for like you know somebody with parkinson's yeah but he's got good doctors my mom is yeah you i don't just know dude. Said, well but she has Mabel, a, she has a two hundred thousand dollar life insurance policy so whatever happens happens you know what i mean and you're from ohio so i'm from arizona dude how dare you and you're from arizona so that is worth like even double there yeah i could get a mansion dude for two hundred thousand dude yeah. i could get a fat place right so but i had to split it with my siblings Okay. How so, many siblings do you have? I'm from Arizona, so I have a lot. You have a lot. <laughs> a lot of siblings. I have seven, six. Here. One died. Seven, six. Six siblings. That's like 200,000 divided by six. It's like 34,000 each. Your mom fucking fucked her way to Parkinson's. That's <laughs> yeah, too dude, many my kids. My dad gave it to her, dude. <laughs> That's too many kids. <laughs> and she has some stepkids, too. Dude, Mabel is in love with me right now. Mabel's really into you. I think she realizes what a beta you are and how easily you are to dominate. Her paw has just been she on She is you. taking over, dude. She's moving me around this you, couch. Your body dude. language is like, you should clean your space. Sit up straight. There you go. Um, and, <laughs> and now we're good. <laughs> Mabel's up, on. Shut up. Mabel. Shut up, you little shit monkey. Mabel. Shut the fuck up, Mabel. Shut the fuck up. Uh, Cue everyone in the comments saying you're manhandling <laughs> oh your dog. Oh my god, what are they talking about? Shut the fuck up. Just I put like one Will dog Smith to sleep, dude. I'll do it again. <laughs> Look, I'm an Iman legend too. Um, Mabel went was at the dog park twice already today. She was out from 7 to 9, and she was out from like 12.30 until almost 2. So it is now 5 p.m. She should be a little more chill than this, but yeah. she is a 9-month-old puppy. She's actually 9 months old? Mm, yeah, I think she so. She seems older, dude. Well, she's just bigger because she's 60 pounds. She just likes to fucking play rough. Well, she's also a rescue, so they lie, right? Yeah, she's probably 13, dude. <laughs> she's going to die in like a year, dude. You Watch. can't tell her puppy mannerisms. Like just now when she was kind of like pawing your face, like I can tell. Like, oh, that's But a I puppy. slipped her an Adderall earlier, dude. So that's Why probably would you didn't. fucking do that? You're giving her Adderall, Adderall. I'm giving her Benadryl. We're just like. She's you're... fucked up right now, she's dude. A, that's like a dog's uh, speedball. Maple's lace. So you also ate a tiny bit of shrooms. Uh, All right, Pat, we got to give her um, her bone. We have to give her um, something that's going to. Do you Calm see that down. big one in there, Pat? That one has should like. Should I put my finger in her butt? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should definitely express her anus. What is that, Pat? Express her anus. What did you find? What is that? My bowl. That's like the leftover of one of the bones, and I knew that did Go not get work. It. Go get it, Mabel. I did yeah. it. <sighs> All right. So Peter James Fowler, you're 20 something years old, and you just moved to New York City to be a star. Mm -hmm. And how's it going? Not good. <laughs> <laughs> not good at all, dude. I brought you up as the. What did I call you? The fat one of the fastest rising stars in comedy. That was the best I've ever had because of that. Yeah, I've, I've been telling people to bring me up as that now <laughs> ever since, dude. In Euphoria, I've been saying bring me up as uh, you've seen him in Euphoria, yeah. and that helps my sets out a lot, dude. <laughs> Wait a minute, were you on Euphoria? No, I've never been in anything. <laughs> I really believed you. But the audience believes it too. Of course, yeah. you definitely look like a, a cracked out extra. For real, I appreciate <laughs> it. That would be dude so good for my career if I was a cracked out extra on Euphoria. <laughs> You look like, you know how they do like the montage of like the kid who like shot up the school and you yeah. like go back in time and he's in the background of every scene like Staring. alone. Yes, that's you. <laughs> that's you. Just looking like I hate all these kids. Yeah. <laughs> I can see it. Dude, season three of Euphoria, I'm going to be the shooter in the school. <laughs> I think that they'll show a montage of how you style your hair. And too. I bet too, the, the like that'll get me so many more girlfriends, dude. I'll be killing it with the girls. But the shooter in Euphoria. Yeah. That would fucking lift my shit up, dude. I feel like right now, like, girls your age, you, yeah, you probably do very well. I do okay. 
Yeah. I do all right. This like younger generation is totally fine with just like emotional (laughs) sort of weak. Yes. It's great. (laughs) If I was in 1950, I would be a virgin, dude. (laughs) (laughs) Right. Because you have to, that's how you have to impress girls. You have to punch a guy in the face and then ask a girl. You gotta go to the war and beat the Nazis (laughs) to get fucking pussy, dude. Now I just fucking. Emote. Yeah. I just show that I'm not a real man, dude. And they're like, this guy's so vulnerable. It's like Peter knows calligraphy. I love him. I don't know what calligraphy is, if I'm being honest. It's a fancy way to write cursive. Oh, I don't know what. I can't write cursive either. I was just practicing my calligraphy and my feelings. All right, let's take a pause. I don't care about your calligraphy. Now that you know. Does Mabel make you itchy? No. She, I think it's probably because she's like, you know. Dirt. I think Mabel and I are getting along pretty good. Yeah, Mabel's pretty chill right now. Did she you get along with Jared better than me or no? Um, who? Uh, <laughs> J- <laughs> Jared doesn't like dogs. He doesn't? Well, he's, he like, no, I don't think he has. A, you're, I feel like you're either a dog person and you're not, or you're not. You're either a dog person or you're a little bitch if you <laughs> ask me, dude. <laughs> Did you grow up with dogs? Yeah, I had a, dude, I had this one dog named Buddy. He lost one of his legs because he got hit by a tractor one time though. And, uh, dude, this dude was badass, but he died of the big C. Rest in peace, buddy. But he was, like, fucking, dude, he was my homie, man. Fuck. Buddy. I'm just having a lot of memories come back right now just thinking about him. Don't cry. One time, there was a rattlesnake, and he fought the rattlesnake. This was in Arizona. And he Louis killed J. Him. Gomez? No. <laughs> I'm not getting involved in this, dude. I want to go to Skankfest one day, dude. <laughs> you can come But my soon. dog, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm a dog person. But I also fuck with cats, too. I fuck with a cool cat. You know yeah, what I, mean? I fuck with a dog-like cat. But... Regular cats I can sort of do without. I am also allergic, so. To cats? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I'm sorry. A lot of them. Thanks. I'm sorry, Karen. That's all right. I mean, I'm only allergic to them if I, like, pet them and then rub my eyes. So you're allergic to them. (laughs) (laughs) So I'm only allergic to them if I'm within 100 feet of them. I start to cry. You know, if I, like, take them and, like, rub it on my face, like, how cute does she look right now with her ears? She is. Honestly, I love her. Uh, shout out to Maddie Weiner for watching her all weekend. She Maddie did. Weiner? Yeah, she did a great job. She got an excellent report from the dog park. <laughs> what is going Mabel. on with Mabel? Mabel dude? is really like, I think, hamming it up. <laughs> this is the bone I wanted you to get, Pat. There's like shit in the middle of it. It's fucking awesome. She loves it. There's like bone marrow. Check it out. Come That's on. Disgusting, dude. I ate that at Nobu earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Put the mic up to it. Look how she's like eating it out. Wow, I like that. Come on. Have this is getting here. weird, dude. I don't know what I fucking signed up <laughs> We're just for. Doing some ASMR. Yeah, this is weird shit, dude. Just bestiality, dude. Come on, dogs like shit like this. They're like sitting there going, "Yeah, eat it out." <laughs> no, it's just like the satisfaction they provide their dogs. They like it, you know. Like dogs are like they're so dumb they're so easy to please but they at the same time they also fucking need a lot um, Karen. oh my god she's so cute right now it makes me want to um, like i was just thinking dude uh but that euphoria shit yeah Have you watch that show or no because i've been yeah. watching that shit mad hard dude do you yeah, like it I, yeah not really what do i you don't mean? really watch it it's like the new hit show yeah it's like too young for me it makes me feel old what do you mean what do they do? They just like teenagers fucking? Yeah, and doing drugs. And then like some of them are gay and some of them have penises, but they're women. It's wild, dude. It's a cool show. I've been obsessed with it. That's all I've been watching. And it's changed my life, dude, because now I can talk to girls my age. And because I know that show, it's like upped everything in my life. Yeah, I'm not really trying to fuck girls your age, so it doesn't play like a big part but of But it's my a good life. show. <laughs> <laughs> all right. These are wanna- some of the scenes from all Euphoria. We're gonna watch You're gonna them. play a scene. Oh, it's right just now? all no, porn, dude. Yeah. It's just all fucking. Dude, I like this me. season no. two. I didn't see this one. I can't like. Why can't I just watch like regular porn? Do you think that th- like this show is making kids like grow up too fast? Um, that girl's trans and she's got the best titties I've ever seen in my entire life. That's hot. America is a fucking great country. Yeah, dude. USA. <laughs> Isn't she like a model? Like, doesn't she like? Modeled for like that girl, dude, is the love of my life. This is wild. This is one of the frames from the show. Yeah, this is like first season, dude. She's getting pounded here, too. What girl is that? Is that (laughs) that's Maddie in the show? I don't know her name though, but she's like a smoke show. Yeah, dude. Everything, every word she says, just fucking like come on. Yeah, this show's wild, bro. You might like this show. Yeah, Karen, I think you're in this show. (laughs) (laughs) I'm like, I'm not saying I don't like it. I guess, yeah, it's just Karen Feehan's judging people for being naked on TV, dude. It's not judgment. It's just like, I like to watch things that like, I don't know, like I I like spending my, first of all, I don't watch a lot of TV, if I'm honest. I'm usually outperforming stand-up comedy across the country in New York City. (laughs) 
But she's doing a one night in Minnesota, dude. <laughs> Fuck you. I was in McHenry, <laughs> Illinois. Thank you very much. <laughs> Moving on. Shout out to the Vixen. I had a great time. The Vixen. Yeah, me and dude, Bonnie McFarlane. That, Fucking. Are you joking? No, I've never been there. Uh, yeah, no shit. It was great. It was like a 400 seat theater. It was huge. It was so fun. Really? We came seat very theater? close to selling out two shows. Thank you very much. 400 seat is not a theater. I was going to say that. <laughs> yeah, it is. That's just a room. <laughs> no, it's not. There's a balcony that wasn't open, but it'll be open. You can fit 400 seats in here, Karen. No, you can't, Peter. You don't know numbers or space. <laughs> You're dumber than Jared. This no, is I'm not. This is a mistake. No, I'm not, dude. <laughs> At least Jared knows you can't fit 400 people in here. <laughs> Jared would be like, I'm going to run my show in here. <laughs> um, anyway. So is he coming back on the pod or no? What's going on with you guys? No, we don't know. Yeah, of course. Of course. Jared was welcome today. He yeah. just couldn't come because he had an allergist appointment. Did this start, though, with the punch? Shout out. What? What do you mean? I mean, the last couple of weeks on the pod. Like, it's been a little friction. Yeah, it's been tense. There, there has been some friction, I suppose. I feel like I'm on, like, I don't know, just some weird, like, breakup going on right now i'm like in the middle of the beatles and you guys are breaking up yeah i guess like sometimes i wonder if it's me you know like we had a different producer our first 30 episodes and he and i didn't fucking you know no offense pat i mean obviously pat's lasted longer was we, it like last guy better we love pat i mean yeah well maybe like something there was like a personality clash no he wasn't better pat's much better there was a personality clash there and now that i'm maybe having a personality clash with jared that that's making me think it's me i'm the problem i'm to <laughs> I saw him the other night and I told him I was like, dude, you need to leave that podcast, oh, dude. Cool. You need to you need to get off, dude. Good. And um he believed me, but um he should not. He should come back on. It'd be a good opportunity. Also though, if you need a co host, like I'm not doing anything next week and <laughs> I can send over the contract you guys can sign and my lawyer just has to look over it and stuff. But I'm sure if you made a good offer, you know, it's not something I wouldn't be totally opposed to, you know. Doesn't it take you like three hours to get here from the Bronx? I'll now? get up early. <laughs> I'll walk, dude. <laughs> How long did it take you? An hour. <laughs> yeah. It's terrible, dude. <laughs> this area is Sorry. so much better than anywhere I've ever lived in my entire life. Yeah. I don't know if you guys know this, but all the money you're sending to her on OnlyFans is fucking making Karen have a good life, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Dude, everybody downstairs on the, like, outside is beautiful. Really? Yes. Everybody is good looking. Except there there's a couple are... of tourists who are like, Ugh. Right, they're like, <laughs> Yeah, you like, it's embarrassing, yeah. Oh, Do you okay. like older ladies, Pete? Um, only one. I have a kind of a theme for Karen. Stop if I'm being it. Completely We're honest. not doing no, that. No, 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 no. This isn't malicious. Do I like older women? Yeah. Just, how old are we talking? No, no, just in general. Older. You're how old? Uh, I'm 23. 23. Okay. So pretty much, honestly, anything above 30 is a little nah for me. <laughs> honestly, it's just because like I just don't know, man. They they just seem so yeah. so much. Yeah. And they they are they're so aggressive, dude. Like yeah. Older women are super aggressive, dude. Like I don't know, I'm kind of scared of them. But younger girls are fine. But if it's like even like 28, 29 is a lot for me. I mean, you look like you're 10. So like anybody. <laughs> oh my god, I totally forgot that I had like a stain on these sweatpants. What is going on? Um, yeah, you look prepubescent. Like they're like if I saw you walking with like a thirty year old woman, I'd be like, I'm calling nine one one. I would call the police. I think that's why some thirty year old women are into me though. I would have you arrest. I would have you arrested. I don't know. It's like for like a man. Like it's all these like older like rich like troll men, right? Who show up with these like hot young women, and you're like, oh, that guy must have like you know he's really talented. Maybe he designed the cover of a Rolling Stones Stones album, and now he's loaded. But you. This is her fantasy. This is her fantasy. She's she's punching right now. But Mabel, but you Mabel's see, on one today, dude. Yeah, Mabel's lit today, and she's obviously going back to the shelter. Uh, Rescue City, Sorry, get Mabel. ready for an Let's intake. Let's just throw her in the river, dude, after this. Intake. <laughs> <laughs> intake. Um, what was I saying? But I don't know. There's something desperate a little bit, I feel like, about an older woman and a younger guy. Desperate? Yeah. Look at Pat. Yes. Yeah, I agree. What do you mean? It's, like, not hard to trick I think it's young, a good opportunity for the older lady. I think it's just easy. Yeah. It's not desperate for an older man to be with a... I think it's just as equally desperate do you know what i mean it doesn't come off desperate the old man comes off as like wow you were able to trick like a beautiful woman to like fuck you for the rest of your life and you're gross looking that dynamic is more like a business transaction to me like we know what's going on i think the man one but they they still fuck they still put their like slimy old no longer i feel she's speaking from experience right now dude put a contract yeah (laughs) i've never actually like fucked like a guy that was like way older than me like when i was younger but he was still like young you know what i mean you never have when i was like 21 i would i fuck what was the oldest guy 33 year old yeah that's pretty old 
that's a big gap for them for them that was like my oldest or whatever but like the oldest girl i ever been with is now like 31 but she was like 26 27 or something when i hooked up with her but it was like i just remember thinking her body was gross dude it's <laughs> terrible to say but it's true dude i just remember being like oh dude this is not fun at all you know I mean, listen, my body's still perfect, like, knock on wood. Um, but, there, yeah, there are some 20-something-year-olds whose bodies are way grosser than mine. Yeah, that's so. true, dude. There's some <laughs> so, fucking nasty people out there, just, dude. just, you know, fucking eating habits and working I was just out. on the subway. I saw a bunch of them. That I've never like, been. Rough. Never been, dude. Oh, on the subway. Fucking white privilege over here, dude. Yep. This life is great for you. Take a look looking at Looking out of the river, looking out of New Jersey, dude. You can see that green bitch, bro, right outside your house. Are you talking about the Statue de Liberté? I don't know French, bro. But <laughs> <laughs> Look at stupid Mabel. Mabel, you've never been this excited. Like, usually when Jared's here, she's docile and like... Dogs don't fuck with me, honestly, on the low. They don't? No, they do. Like, yeah, I get yeah. along with dogs real good. I got dog energy, to be honest. Yeah, me too. Where do you, you just pull up a picture of the Statue of Liberty like we didn't know? Oh, that's who I was talking about. <clears throat> This is for the episode. I walk by her. I post like, you know, I like, I'll like sell like a, bu- a picture of my butthole on the internet yeah. or whatever. And I walk by her and I'm like, freedom, yeah. free to do me. I'm sure she's proud of you, dude. I'm sure that's what the fucking. <laughs> she's not what she meant. She's like. That's what oh. the founding fathers wanted, dude. <laughs> she's like a, a chick from Ireland survived, you know, generational poverty, the potato famine. You're from Ireland? And now my people. And now, and we are not known for aging well. My people. And now. Honestly, dude, Irish chicks are nasty. Fuck. What? No, they're not. <laughs> what? What the hell? Irish women are wait, just, I don't know, wait, dude. That's like, like the worst before white Before we group, started, you know? Peter was like, let's kiss. Let's kiss. Karen, I still think we should kiss. No. <laughs> Karen, come Sound on. Sound off in the comments if you think that. Karen, Peter let's just give a little kiss right now. Should have kiss. Karen. Okay, we'll do a pack. Okay, just a little pack. Ready? <laughs> don't make it weird. I'm not. Okay. <laughs> he made it weird. He I licked my, my mouth. I he licked look. my mouth. <laughs> I did not look. I'm in love. <laughs> oh my god. Peter, Peter did movie kiss. Dude. Peter did this. I mean, I mean that's a thumbnail. I went yeah, in great, I went in slow. That was the greatest moment of my entire life, dude. Karen's the oldest woman I've ever kissed. <laughs> I went in Also I'm glad I wore jeans today and not sweatpants, dude. I, went in. I was gonna wear sweatpants and I was like, if Karen and I kiss, I don't know what's gonna happen, dude. I know. Fuck. I went in with a, with a slow, um, like soft lips and an open mind, and was met with a tongue. I think I had an aphrodisiac in my lunch or something today. <laughs> I had a. I think there was an afro. No joke. Oh man. That was well, the greatest moment of my entire life. That's our first kiss on the podcast. Yeah. Oh. I feel so good about that. I'm going to show all my friends this, dude. This is going to get me some traction. I'm like, man, we can make this a clip if either one of us could land a joke dude, after. I just see the views yeah. pouring in. I right. had a couple heaters. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I was just... I'm sorry, Pat. She's all nervous. We're all both shaking. <laughs> I, I just see the views pouring in right yeah. now. You know? The butterflies this in my is, stomach, dude, are going bait. crazy, dude. This is the clickbait we needed. I can't tell if I have butterflies or that's the blue chew I took before I got here, dude. <laughs> um... A. That was legendary. B, that was sick. Congratulations. We're on mushrooms. <laughs> like, we yeah. didn't even Where you also are, I can feel the mushrooms, dude, kicking <laughs> in because I'm loving the dog right now, dude. <laughs> the dog is light, my life right now. The first time I took that little bit of mushrooms by myself, like, gave me a stomach ache, and then you, you made me just now take half a bar. Yeah. And I'm high. And, yeah, we're both high on I'm love. high and in love about, right now. It was about under a gram each of a chocolate bar for the viewers. Yeah, I know. I don't know what she's talking about, dude. She's acting like she ate six grams of shrooms, dude. She literally just had the tiniest little piece of chocolate, dude. And she's like, I'm fucking high, dude. <laughs> but can I tell you guys something? She's playing. You know what? She might be high because she's tossing a fucking tennis ball up and down, dude. Can I tell you guys something? <laughs> Honestly, I think she's buzzing from the kiss a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Like, so am I, dude. She's just like uppity. My heart is beating so hard right now, dude. I'm all red and shit. That was so, intense, dude. That's what I do. I just like kiss another a different like 20 year old on the pod every week. It's you had I, another 20 year old that you kissed? It's on how I stay young. I'm going to start siphoning your blood and drinking. That would be it. great. That would be the fucking highlight of my life, dude. I was going to say something. <sighs> I'm still trying to calm down from this kiss, dude. Dude, I'm going <laughs> to. I'm gonna have a so couple a women peaked. outside. Actually, if I this goes out, dude, I'm gonna have a couple women. Oh, I'm tagging me. all your little girlfriends. Please Every don't. waitress of the sand you've ever hit on. Like, I don't know what this. you're talking about. Look at this heart. Look I don't at this know charlatan. what you're talking look about. Look at Karen. this. You don't think <laughs> they're, gonna, they're gonna pounce on you after seeing? I know actually, this actually might do some good shit for me, dude. I do. I have yeah. had that effect. I think it's. I find it so interesting, and I've done it too. Like I've seen a guy that I'm like, that guy's okay. And then he'll have a smoke show of a girlfriend, and I'll be like, mine. I want it. <laughs> you think that'll happen for me? Um, I'm not, like, no, it's just like people covet what they don't have, right? I'm honestly having, like, 
a problem with girls right now because I'm having more women than I've ever had in my life like like me, and it's a lot to take. Because I didn't get shit in high school, man. Like I was a loser, dude. And now I'm just getting just thrown at me, man. These girls that I meet just want to hang out with me. This is coming from comedy. From yeah. Being out. Yeah, and I have been having good sets, but you know what I mean. I don't, you know, you know, I understand it, but it's, you know, it's just a lot to handle. <laughs> but here's my thing. Let's hear it. Um, that's in a that's a great position to be in. It's not though. Sure, you just pick and choose who you want to spend time with. Yeah, just but like, I want them all. I'm yeah, <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> no. but you can't. You don't, because then the next thing you know, your your fucking comedy is suffering, and you're yeah. not like what they were initially attracted to starts yeah, to suffer. For real. So you have to keep space Stay for vulnerable. yourself. Yeah, dude. But that means you can, can pick I get and your choose. Fucking ass off get me, him. Mabel. Get him. Mabel. Show him your booty hole. Damn. Go get this it. is like that time we went to a strip club in the Bronx, dude. <laughs> Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. Go get Mabel, it. Mabel, please get your ass off me. That was gross, dude. Yeah, Pat. Like, maybe I give you... You know how um, I started making... Never mind. I'm not even going to say that. I can't. What are you maybe gonna I start paying you extra dog handling fee if Mabel's going to have episodes like this. You know Also, he mean? is really carrying this podcast, so we got to keep him he, on. Is, who? Mabel or Pat? Pat. Pat. Pat is excellent. Mabel's kind of wrecking the whole thing, honestly. She's just kind of <laughs> turning this into a whole thing about herself, dude. A little attention whore, dude. You put on the camera. Before the camera came on, she was just sitting over there, dude. And then it comes on, and she's fucking rubbing her ass on me I and shit. I feel like we should tell people who you are. Me? Yeah. Oh, I'm Peter. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you hide for this kid? <laughs> Because, like, if this is your first podcast, Mabel, Mabel, nobody wants your baby. Nobody wants your baby. If this is your first podcast, tell them, you know, like, I'm a stand-up comedian. Oh, I uh, do stand-up. Here at the stand a lot. Sometimes I'm at the stand. <laughs> and people seem to like him. Yeah, I'm doing okay. Do you, how do you connect with people that are so much older than you? What do you mean? Like, I see you talking to, like, people that are older than me. And I'm like, what yeah. are they talking about? I mean, mostly we're talking about history. <laughs> yeah, really? No. Oh. I get along with old people really, really well, dude. Like, I always was... Do they just, like, always clean your face? <laughs> They're always licking their thumbs? <laughs> I don't get that joke. Pat, Pat does. Um, I don't get it. Um, but, yeah, I get you never along... never had a grandparent be like, oh... Even... If my grandma did I'd smack her in the face, oh dude. My get God. your fucking hands off me, dude. You know what I mean? Her old-ass wrinkly fingers, dude. I don't want those <laughs> near me. But, no, I get along with old people, bro. Old people and I are cool. Yeah. But I'm from Arizona. I moved here like a year ago. I've been doing stand-up out here. And I'm kind of just like uh, surviving. And now I'm did, at like did, things aren't that bad, I guess. You did stand-up in Arizona though. Yeah, for like a couple. I started when I was in high school out there. How old were you? Your first time you did stand-up? Um, I think I was like 17, about to turn 18. Or I was 18. That I is remember. so wild to me. I was <laughs> not doing anything though, dude. I was like a loser. And I was like, I got to figure something out. <laughs> so I was but like, you figured it out. So young. Not really. I like, like here. I just got wasted for a decade. Like, That's fucking legendary, dude. <laughs> Thanks, <Doc. laughs> Badass, dude. I've been doing that, too, and doing stand-up. Yeah. You can I mean, but you're still not me. I couldn't. I would be, like, one step forward, and then I'd be like, Karen, how did you manage to piss off, like, five bookers in one night? And like, I don't That's know. That's how, dude, I feel that every night, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, they like right. you. But, yeah, I don't know, dude. I just was starting out in Arizona, and then, like, I had, I don't know about you, but I had really nothing fucking going for me in life, so I was like, I got to do something. So I started doing stand-up, and it still not as, isn't great, but it's fucking better than... I would be in Wickenburg, Arizona right now on shrooms, but now I'm fucking in New York City on shrooms. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> We're on shrooms. Fucking improved. I wouldn't have done stand-up if I wasn't good at it, if I didn't find out, if I wasn't forced into doing it. How so are you forced into doing it? I was in a play. <laughs> I know. I know. I, well, I got a degree in acting. I thought I was going to be an actress. I thought I was just going to like kind of coast through... Yeah. Like, Never have to create, really just repeat the words of others. You're kind of no, still doing that. <laughs> no offense, actresses. No, these are my words, Peter. Um, no offense to actresses across this great nation, but they're just... But they're all stupid. Well, they're just regurgitating someone else's yeah. thoughts, right? It also sounds like a comedian being like, oh, I'm so smart. I am Does it? better than am these I actresses. Am I like, I'm wicked smart. And he's yeah. fucking, hey, it's, relax. It you sounds, gotta chill. It sounds like you didn't make it as an actress, and now you're going, that's because I was too good for it. Yep. <laughs> you nailed it. <laughs> so these dumb sluts could never do what I do. <laughs> they actually couldn't, probably. Um... But so, yeah, and then I was like, oh, fuck, I'm good at this. And then I was like, I guess I'll do this. But then that came with open bars every yeah, day. Yeah, dude, that's killing me right now, honestly. <laughs> it's really a problem. Like, every place we go has free drinks. Yeah. You start getting, when you at first yeah. were, 
when I was first, you know, getting paid spots, it was you were paid in booze. Yes, dude. Like, here's a couple drink tickets. And it was like, oh, so this is how I fund my addiction. How am I going to eat? <laughs> also, just coming from a place, too, of like, if someone's giving you free drinks, to not drink those drinks is crazy it's to crazy. me. It's crazy. Yeah. It's leaving money on the table, Exactly. Baby. When you come from being poor, dude, you're like, fucking, that'd be $20 worth of drinks right there. I need to fucking you're like, throw those <laughs> I down. need to put these drinks in the bank. These yeah. are my savings account. It's ruining my life, dude, this alcohol every night. You can just, Pat, we can just get, uh, come with me, bro. We'll just get hammered for free, dude. It's like I'm like a, like an 18-year-old girl, bro, at a bar, bro. It's fire, dude. That's like responsible. Yeah, I'm a, I'm like a mid twenty five now, so like I'm I'm kind of past. That. You're twenty five. He's yeah. a mid twenty. Are you dating anybody or what's going on He's with you, bro? Had a, I've had a girlfriend for a little bit. So you just got it all together, dude. Uh, you have a house. Kinda, How kinda. many kids do you have, dude? <laughs> dude, I'm divorced. And mortgage. Three kids. <laughs> yeah, dude. You fucking go to AA meetings on Thursday nights, dude. Mm-hmm. But Fuck. yeah, I'm, you're twenty three. <laughs> you got to go out and do that stuff now. Yeah, I know. That's what everybody says. Like, I'm trying to not like. Uh, Stop it. Go too hard, but I'm also like trying to also go hard. You're trying, you know to, I mean? trying to meet a la- like one lady, or you're just trying to live life. I don't even know, man. It's like I could do either or, and I'm very I don't know about you, but I'm very indecisive, dude. And when I'm like presented with options, I fucking have a panic attack, and I go like I don't know which one to do. And Mabel is having a fucking total freak out right now, dude. Well, that's not Karen. Karen. Karen likes love. Yeah, Karen is not. Karen is so far gone right now, dude. <laughs> Wait, I have been in so many monogamous relationships. It's really, it feels like a, a lot of them. A four or five. <laughs> a new one every week, actually. <laughs> no, I. It's been a long time since I've had a boyfriend. I, you know, I have, you know. What is going on, <laughs> dude? Mabel, She's looking the Ma- oh Mabel, God. Mabel, Peter, You're showing Peter, off her asshole, dude. Peter, this Peter, is an OnlyFans for you, she was Mabel. On the Peter, couch. can I say something? I we guess get, we let her have a little bit of mushroom. <laughs> you did. This isn't no, my problem. No, we did not. She's fu- she might be fucked up right now, dude. I mean, dead serious, dude. I, yeah. I've done this she before, was just though. Licking dude. the sign, I think yeah. she's if fucked YouTube, up. YouTube. I think she might be sloshed, Mabel. Right. Mabel we're so sorry. Damn this is it. bad. We can't post this now because it's, she's fucking tripping. She's had the tiniest if little YouTube piece that we community dropped. Community guidelines is listening. We did not feed the dog. Yeah, we did not feed this dog shrooms. We did though not give her a purpose. gallon of alcohol. We did we did fucking get her fucked up before this dude, yeah. Not we injected pur- heroin into her, dude. Not <laughs> oh my god, Mabel, are you okay? No. Yeah. <laughs> Mabel, she, can you hear us? Mabel's lit. She thinks she's on a submarine. <laughs> dude, she's trashed right now. <laughs> Mabel, you little wild animal, bro. <laughs> She's oh my God. squeaking that thing, dude. I have dude. to fucking host Fritz Oh, this tonight. is crazy, dude. Yeah, what? Is, you don't like that? You don't like the I don't like stuff? that she's just fucking getting too into hey. this. Hey, Mabel. Where's Jared Schwartz when we need him? <laughs> um, <clears throat> Let's focus. There's a lot we have to yeah, cover. Yeah, Mabel needs okay. to calm down, bro. You know, we're working in this comedy industry. <laughs> um, <laughs> We have to bring it back to earth. Yeah. We have to hone in. What do you think? Because... You you remind people of Pete Davidson. I keep hearing people say that, but I don't think I am anywhere like, close to that. Go, Mabel, ready? Go. Why does she want the weed pen so bad? You I think she's fucked up, dude. I think she's like, what is a ball? <laughs> she's like, why would I chase that? Even though every time she's like, Are I'll you go on to- TikTok? No, dude, of course not. Hollywood or nothing, You're dude. You're so young. Hollywood or nothing. Yeah, talk on that. <laughs> Speak on that vibe. I'm just kidding, dude. No, <laughs> Look I'm not. Look at how on. hot that fucking picture is. They're so Kim fucking hot. Kim is a piece, dude. Oh I my love god. Her. Also, he's looking thicker. Like he's look like his arms, and yeah, the torso. He's looking. You know who else got thicker when he's looking full? Kanye got thicker too when he was with her. The like good they, way or yeah. bad way? They no, like up. they beefed Stop up, it. dude. Stop She's feeding him good, okay. bro. Stop. She, he's eating pizza. Look at that. They're, I didn't know rich people eat pizza, dude. Stop. I thought they just What's ate lobster that? and steak. What? What? You have to go out. This whole dog, this whole podcast is just us. But it's just like entertaining sh- this dog. Ow, stop it. God, bro, she is wild right I now. Know. Also, I feel the stream's kicking in because I'm getting nervous. <laughs> ow, Mabel, stop biting. She bit right. Stop yeah. it. You're biting now. It was like mouthing, and now she's biting. Yeah, Pat, can you just like take her for a walk and let the camera run? Can you really? She's gonna go wild outside, dude. All right, cool. Don't let her near the water. What do you mean, don't let her know? She loves the water. Yeah, but I just feel like she's not coming back. If Did she you get her in. leash? Are you re- are you going to be able to do it? <laughs> it's like, I don't know. Some people find walking a dog to be a hard task. Do you like him or no? Who do you think is the better sister? Oh, I've always been a Courtney. Dude, I love Courtney, dude. She's Advocate. amazing. Yeah. I'm oh, I have such a crush on her. Yeah. Oh, She's the really the pretty. Wait, which one's the ugly one? 
we are not allowed to say they'll kill you. <laughs> oh, Kendall. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. She's Kylie, a, that's the one I was talking about. She's a supermodel. You can't find her leash, Pat. It's on the table right I don't there. think she needs Pink. a leash right now. I think she out. needs a noose. <laughs> I think she needs a Benadryl. Karen. I think she needs a, a Benadryl. A noose and a Benadryl. First give her the Benadryl, then give her the noose. Um, oh, oh, she saw the leash. You ooh, see it, dude. You can see something going go in her out, go eyes. Out. Go pee pee. Go. Go get. Go pee pee. Go, go. You gotta like pat. You gotta get involved. You gotta get the dog excited. Yeah, get pat. her on the Do leash. Do a little dance pass. Take like, off so your shirt, dude. Everybody give it up shirt, for dude. Pat. <laughs> Look at Pat. Yay. Yeah. Go, Mabel. Go. Go. She won. Oh, she does not want to, dude. She does not want to go on a walk right now. That's wild. <laughs> I'll go on a walk, dude. You put me on the leash and take me out, dude. <laughs> Mabel, Mabel, you stink. Mabel, you're really killing this, dude. I think that we really should not have given her because everyone yeah. will attest. Like when Ali Wachowski was on the pot. Pat, what? You're just hovering yeah. over us. Are you okay? on Zooms too, bro? What's like, do on? something yeah. or don't. Yeah, I, I like just don't hover over us. Like. <laughs> They can't, but I can. <laughs> Just, all right, she's fine. That's like her new spot. Peter, you like it. Fish? Are you okay? Yeah, she's cool. It's all right, Mabel. Have you gained weight? Me? I feel like today I have. Yeah. For sure, dude. Yeah, just What are today. you saying? <laughs> just from the side. I was you like, think so? But, Karen, that makes me feel bad about myself. I thought we were good. I thought we were But like also, like, it start. could be Mabel giving you hives because she makes people itchy. Is she really, bro? If I'm breaking out right now, I'm going to be. Sick. No, you're fine. Now hives, she's back, hives, though. hives, hives. Mabel. <clears throat> I think bro. she's just really into you guys. Yeah, I think she's just having a good time, dude. I get it. I get it. You know, it's a lot. But I'm telling you, usually she's in my room. You put her in the room for the ball? No, pod? she just stays there because she knows Jared hates her. <laughs> Jared's at his allergist right now, you guys. All right, Peter. I can have to go to one too, dude, after this fucking dog yeah. attacked me. I'll give you a Benadryl. <laughs> Are you on Frantic tonight? No, I'm not, bro. Should I roll through, though? They'll probably give me a spot. Why yeah, not? probably. I'll just go up to him and be like, come on, please. <laughs> okay. Are you hitting the road anytime soon? No, dude. I have nothing going. Actually, I'm in the um, Honolulu Funny Bone. There we go. The 19th through the 22nd. That's fucking awesome. Yeah, I know, dude. Fire, Honolulu? dude. Honolulu? So, so far, we've sold zero tickets. Listen, uh, put a link up. Go buy tickets. Go Zero's follow me on Instagram, too. Peter James Fowler. Wait, the 3rd to 15th of what? April? Uh, The 19th through the 22nd. Of April. Yeah. Of this month. Yeah. You're in Hawaii. Also, it is a fake club that I just made up <laughs> a second ago. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see how excited go by I was? I was like, there's a funny yeah. boat in Honolulu? I was like, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, you're like, can I book that? I would love to work that fucking room. We'll no, dude, there. I'm just doing spots in the city, bro. I got no road gigs. I don't know where you're at, Karen. I'm not a big star, dude, like you. Listen, But after this pod, I might be. What's speaking up? Speaking of which, I'll be at the Comedy Hub in Houston on April 28th, and I'm at Roar in Springfield, Massachusetts. Yeah, I saw you been posting that a lot. On May 13th. <laughs> are you just doing or is it by like are you doing a weekend or are you just doing one day i'm just doing a one-nighter at roar one-nighter in houston what well, do you do when you're on the don't road don't expect just... a lot from me just come out and enjoy my jokes yeah that's a terrible way to get people <laughs> to hey don't expect a good night of comedy just don't fucking come out and we'll hang out. expect to laugh and have a good time but don't expect like a hand job or a blow job <laughs> or like anything like that because that's what? A, that's an expectation that people is that what you were doing at the last, <laughs> the last i mean you <laughs> said you sold yes. zero tickets yeah like i know you, you gotta sell. move tickets you gotta move tickets somehow i know how to sell tickets comedy show and a blow job yeah <laughs> All my dates are going to be on Joe Rogan's website. Check it out. Were you just mentioned on there? Thank I you. I saw that. Thank you for picking up my... I saw you post it. Didn't you post it on the... My mom is so happy for me. Is she really? Like, my friend Joe commented. He's like, I saw this. I was so proud of you and your little titties. My mom liked it. <laughs> my I looked at your tiny titties and you said that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank I you. I can't help but look. Cool, cool. My mom's so supportive, you know? She is, really? Yeah. Do my parents are... Like, are they actually? Because my parents are not at all. I mean, you know, as much as they can be. Mabel, chill the fuck out. When you started, were they like, oh, go chase your dream, Karen? Well, the problem is I was like just a, an alcoholic mess when I first started. <laughs> so I was like asking them for money all the time mm -hmm. and losing my phone and my debit card and my... Dude, that happens to me all the time, dude. I lost my uh, ID and shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't like this at all. <laughs> I feel like she does that move on purpose. Here, Mabel. She's a little bone. skank, dude. She's throwing it around. Here, get your bone. This is regular chaos on the only feet set. Is, yeah, yeah this, is this is how we do it. This is how we do it, dude. It's amazing you guys get any views whatsoever, dude. And it's just a they dog. Love it. Yeah. 
We have we have audio listeners. Now this is gonna fucking make it go. Look, uh, for Karen, the, Karen, you do have some cake. I'll for the give YouTube, it to you, bro. Thanks, dog. For the audio listeners, uh, Karen just go. twerked. Go get it. Karen just twerked. Now she's abusing your dog. Yeah, how is this dog not chasing? Like every dog I've ever known, if you throw something, they go fucking. Uh, but she's just not into it. No, she's into us because she's like she thinks we're all on the same trip together. She's yeah. like, you're on trims. I'm on trims. Like if we could all be in a padded room together, she'd be thrilled. She's having a great time. <laughs> she's dude, like, yeah. why aren't we in a ball pit right now? <laughs> this is bullshit. <laughs> Let's go to the playground at McDonald's, dude. <laughs> She's ready. She's like, "Let's get a toddler in here." <laughs> Let's we fuck could, it up. we could, dude. If a toddler came in now, right now, that'd make this party fucking sick, dude. No, no, no. Go cop a baby from outside. Oh my god, I was at hosting at the Ludlow House last night. <clears throat> the producer of the show, I'm uh, just a huge fan of, and I love working with her. What and are we I talking about? Never disrespect her, but there is just a certain vibe of oh, personnel that attend shows at a membership only club yeah fucked all those people in there dude i've done that show dude and it's like the people in there are just so much infinitely better than me and yeah. i hate it dude i just hate they it just their yeah. comfort in judging others is wild to yeah me. i met a girl there and i really liked her and she was asian and um <laughs> thanks for saying but that. but i this, i was talking climate. to her i was talking to her for a second dude and i just realized like oh i can never go on a date with this girl ever Cause she probably makes like a hundred thousand dollars a year. She probably has like only been with rich guys. Like, where are we gonna go on a date? Do you know what I mean? I can't oh, come in this so place. You're so much cooler than that. Like, that's so silly of you. Like, you're so much more interesting. But than she like, like went to college and shit, dude. So what? <laughs> she just like followed a plan that was like set out for her. There's nothing scary about her choices. Yeah, but that plan was never like. I never had a plan. Will you see if she has water, Pat? I know that's like a lot to ask of you. Also, can you grab me some? <laughs> Yeah, can you get the seltzer that's in the fridge? What? We only have like also, 10 whatever more. snacks you have to do. We only have like over. 10 more minutes. <laughs> Did we do the whole mushroom bar? I don't know, but we should eat the rest of it cuz I'm getting hungry. <laughs> well, Mabel obviously needs more. <laughs> Dude, that Ludlow House place though is yeah, like, yeah. literally the nicest place I've I ever mean, been in my entire life. I mean, it's aesthetically beautiful. Yeah. The food is a bomb. Like it's yeah. so good. I just guess that like that I have a hard time connecting with the clientele. I don't feel like we're the same, so it's hard for me to talk to them. It's weird performing for people that are like, could buy you. Yeah. Like they, at any moment, they could just be like $30,000. i would be like, okay. Sold. Yeah. yeah. What do you want? Which hole? Yeah. Like, what do you want? <laughs> you and I would be like, which hole? Which hole? I know. The butt? Okay. <laughs> You'd get bought way faster than me. Yeah. Are you crazy? 30000 Dude, I would. Let's, next well, time they do an auction there, let's go, dude. Next time they do an asshole auction. I'll, Thanks, I'll spread my cheeks for fucking any money, dude. Thank, <laughs> I'm thanks, poor, Pat. dude. I mean, maybe start an OnlyFans, Peter. Honestly, bro, I've been thinking about it. No, I couldn't, man. My I'll, mom I'll would cry. We should. We'll put the kiss on Patreon. No, can we put it out so everybody can see it? I was about to make you money. I was about to. Be okay, like, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> That's why you're a bad. You you're a bad little whore. Yeah, I am. <laughs> you to listen, listen. How's your verbal, Peter, in the bedroom? What do you mean? What do you say to girls while you guys are fucking? I just say thank you so much. <laughs> 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 I'm happy to be here. This is a great honor for me. Thanks for having me. Yeah, this is wonderful. In the bedroom, dude, I'd be like, you know, I don't want to say too much, but if like, I'd be like, I'm not like one of those guys that's like talking mad game, bro. Like, I'm honestly just like quiet, happy to be there, just kissing and shit like that. I'm not one of those guys that's going there, just like, yeah, fuck yeah, I'm gonna fuck you. You know what I mean? I can't do that, dude. I feel so weird. He just goes, I'm just happy they're kissing, yeah, like, yeah. Chilling, dude. What do you want to do? Okay, cool, bro. Sucking their titties a little bit, you know what I mean, dude? Nothing too crazy, dude. You're always saying, like, dirty stuff. I'm not. When we're hanging out in the green room. Never, yeah, Karen, and There's no. a picture of you. I'm a like, good boy, dude. Pretending to grab my boob, and I was like. I did get a little bit of it, though. Don't say pretending. <laughs> I've got a little feel. I was like, this kid is going to get me arrested. Like, I feel like these teachers, it's not their fault, obviously. Yo, dude, when I was in school, I was making moves at the teachers, dude. Did you ever hook up with one? No, I wish. There was just one Miss Quinn. Miss Quinn, what's up? What's up, Miss Quinn? Miss Quinn. Yo, She's in Chicago now. I think she left, dude. She probably has only Dude, fan. she was... I loved her, bro. I would offer to read in class and shit so I could get her attention. But she never fucking got it. I also wasn't good. Now, if I ran into Miss Quinn nowadays, dude, but yo, Miss Quinn, come through a show at the stand. I could get it. You know what I mean? But yeah. back in the day, bro, I had nothing. Sorry, Mabel. Do you think Mabel's that's how chill. Ernest died? I gave him cancer from blowing a weed smoke in his face? Yeah. Or he had a panic attack from all the shrooms you gave him. <laughs> <laughs> Mabel's chill. I, I'm scared the other dog parents are going to... you got to get a close-up on her face, Pat. Oh, you're on yeah, your phone? This is balls. fucking cinematography. I was looking for the titty picture. Sorry. 
What titty picture? Of him grabbing Oh, oh, oh. Baby. But sh- <laughs> I feel like if That's I... That's going to get me canceled one day, dude. Bring her to the park and only get canceled if I get mad. Yeah, you can though at any moment just be like, Peter grabbed me <laughs> and then I'm ruined. Only if you I'm were done. Wor- only if you were so rich you were worth extorting. I would just give you the money, Karen. I said, please, yeah. Karen, just let me have my fame. You just buy me out. I could buy you out. Karen. That's what I remember. Like, when get you a better place, move you up. I had a couple people though tell me, dude, that was like, hey, make sure Karen and you are cool because if she's not, that's those come people, back. every single person that messaged you something like that is a rapist. Yeah. Well, they're all. <laughs> I can't say who they are because if. I did. They're Everyone who's like genuinely worried about that is deep down has a fucking toddler trapped up in their suitcase. That that yeah. A toddler trapped up in their suitcase. Yeah. Does that mean like a baby in their like they have a child's brain or a, they have an actual toddler? Body no, like there? they've done some weird shit. Like like nobody would actually think that. I don't know. My manager. Oh, Jesus. My Mabel. manager. Yeah, she's fucked up, dude. My manager <laughs> okay, was like, yeah, that's not good. You should fucking. Make sure she's cool. <laughs> well, I know who your manager is. So. He was upset. I feel like if I get SNL, dude, that's going to come back to haunt me. I can't wait to see you on SNL. I'm not going to get it, but. Um, Think of all the parts you can play. You're so malleable. That doesn't make me feel good about myself at all. <laughs> <laughs> you have no spine or backbone yeah. or real voice. You're just a little bitch, dude. You can be <laughs> any role they want you to. Do you do any impressions? No, bro. I can do none. I have no your talent. Accents? Nope. <laughs> try that yes, joke so bro try to do an accent what accent were you gonna do i was gonna ask you to do like a midwestern one i'm doing a midwestern one right now no you're not this is how we talk that's west coast right is it west coast everybody in new york says i sound like i'm from california i don't understand that at all it's just because you're high all the time <laughs> thank you <laughs> can you do any accents i, I can, can do all the accents yeah, let me hear true. what you got let me hear your irish Which, accent because <laughs> you're so she fucking Irish. Yeah. I do one where I, I say I slept with this guy from Kilkenny and he came really fast. Kilkenny's a. And he came really fast? And he came what, really fast. What did you say? Do so it. I started laughing and he looked up at me and he goes, Are you laughing at me? <laughs> Can you try that? Are you laughing at me? <laughs> oh, that's not bad. <laughs> not bad. Not bad. I can do pretty good British that. accent, I feel like. <laughs> I know. British. You think British. you can do all well, these different things? Hello, thing. governor. There's different kinds of British, right? You can do, like, the poor kind, but they live in, like... Because you steal people's wallets, dude. They say, like, what do you think? They say, like, think instead of think. Have you heard British rap? It's terrible, like, yo, bro. Yo, 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 it's so bad. Uh, they like say Storms whack <laughs> shit, bro. They'll be like, I'll stab you. And it's like, like, dude, you're a fucking yo, yo, loser, yo, dude. I'm so conservative. <laughs> It'll be like this super tough black guy, dude. And he'll be like, what's up? I'm going to stab you. And it's like, dude, that's not cool. Well, that's but I think black UK. British guys are hot. Like, that's hot to me. I see a black British guy and I go, I can take that guy in a fight. No. I can take any black British guy in a fight, no dude. I'm sorry, way. dude. I can take them all, dude. Yeah, they're like, dude. They, they would like finesse you, man. They'd like talk to <laughs> you. You want to go get some biscuits? They'd be like, you trying to fight me? Well, oh, like you've got your I'd whole life ahead of you, man. Kick them in their little British dick, dude. They're like, I'm a black Brit. You know what my life's been like? You know what I've dealt it's with? It's been easy, dude. If you're a black person in Britain, you're way fucking chill. The racism. That, you don't even know. <laughs> you don't even know. You used to have to wait out the tea shop. <laughs> The race. They wouldn't let me get tea when I was... <laughs> the race. <laughs> the, the queen. Finally, we've got <laughs> Meghan Markle. <laughs> Finally. Dude, I love her. I love her. I love her so much. She's going to be a star, dude. I can see it. I can see it, dude. No, I think she's fucking wrecking her kids with these ginger babies. She has she kids? Popping out. I, is she on the <laughs> second one yet? Oh, I don't even know this dude. Yeah, she's fucking a ginger. Have you seen? She's got a scene where she makes out with this dude, and it's like super hot, dude. I saw it when I was like 13, and then she went on to become... The fucking... Suitcase girl? Um, She was like in this sh- TV show. Suits. Yeah. And she was a she was a baddie in it, dude. And then she she's in, popping in, off right now, dude. She made some good career moves. She was in the show Suits, and she was also a dealer, no deal girl. So she mm. held a suitcase. Her career is pretty easy to follow because there's yeah. little keywords that clue, clue you in. Do you think she, she auditioned for that role of the fucking wife of the No, prince? they just were like, let's get a mixed slut. You think so? Um, no. Karen, that's a terrible thing to say. I'm a terrible person. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I think she's, she's like. She's so pretty. I'm she is, dude. I'm jealous of her. If I ever say anybody's a slut, it's because I'm jealous of them. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> but she is, dude. And Harry, too, is honestly like, that's a fucking. Dude. Like, what? he he oh, could have dated any girl he wanted in the world. And I just think it's weird that he's dating, like, a girl who was on a TV show. She's a hot. Oh, look, dude, at her. look at her. She's yeah, so I get it. I get it. And I 100% oh, my why. God. Yeah, I understand it. 
the yeah, fan she's blowing. Yeah, I let her. I let her call there. my family racist. You know what I mean? She can call <laughs> anything too. She can go on public TV and be like, "Even Peter's dad is a I racist." Know. Right? You really talking. And I'd be on TV and I'd be like, my family is terrible. They're all Megan, evil. Megan, you've got to talk about Back to the statue. Who would you rather smash? Statue of Liberty or. Grandmother. Or the- <laughs> she's like, your grandmother's a fucking bitch. I'd let her say it, dude. She's 500 years old. <laughs> you know, dude, the queen needs to die, bro. I'm sorry, dude. I've seen her a couple times. You just times. sounded She'll like Chrissy D so hard. Like, really? Yeah, or, or Giannis. Chris, Chrissy D? Chris DeSafano or Giannis. Oh, I was thinking of the fucking girl uh, who's married to John Legend. Chrissy Teigen. Chrissy yeah, Teigen. I thought that's what you said. Oh, I, was like, I, I thought she said I said like Chrissy Teigen. I was like, that's not good. All right, we're wrapping who, this up. Who is also a dealer no deal. Is she really? You, dude, you? deal or no deal producing stars, dude. That's like the SNL for hot chicks. Yeah. Oh, Mabel. Where can they find you, Peter? Um, Honestly, bro, Plugs. I'm in the Bronx a lot. <laughs> no. Uh, Peter James Fowler. Uh is my Instagram. Follow me there. I don't have a uh, Facebook because of like all the political shit and the Twitter because of Elon Musk, but uh, you guys can give me a follow. You don't there. have Twitter? No, I got off that shit, bro. It's bad for you. I think it's better now that Elon owns it. No, bro. He's a bad. freedom fighter for free Did speech. Did you see he was talking about how Grimes pegs him? That's Did okay. Did you see that shit, dude? That's okay. No, man. It's like, that, you shouldn't be out talking about it, how though, dude. How secure he is. But, dude, now I'm not investing in Twitter. I'm not going to open up a Twitter <laughs> after he's like, my wife pegs me or my ex-wife <laughs> pegs me. I was going to, but then he said that. I'm like, I'm not out. I'm out, dude. <laughs> also, I'm not investing in Bitcoin anymore. I like it. I think shit. it shows inner strength. In his asshole, dude. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Inner Kegel strength. He's the first man. Dude, if I was getting pegged, that shit is... Staying inside the bedroom, and I'm walking out, being like, "This bitch does not peg me at all." I really like didn't dress nicely for this no, episode. I didn't want to say anything, but it's like <laughs> the grossest I've ever looked. I was thinking that when I was kissing you, I was like, "She does not look good right now at all." And they're weird grandma socks. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Forty-eight degrees outside right now, dude. <laughs> cold. I'm like always cold on the bottom. Have you seen the homeless people? How they have like their fucking? That's what you look like right now, dude. I'm gonna go change. Please do. Thanks for watching, you guys. Thank you. You don't get to talk last. It's only, it's only she is.